Here another of my on the bench videos. This time we have a esoteric P500 transport. A very nice unit. Um, and uh, to also take this opportunity to tell you how important it is to secure the laser mechanism for transport. In this one, they provided a locking mechanism, as you see, that um, locks the mechanism, prevents it from traveling during transport. This is accessible, of course, from the bottom. There is a um, slot for screwdriver, but it's not a half turn or quarter turn, it's like one eighth, so it's only that much to free it. Um, this is a very smooth mechanism. And, um, and and features uh, KSS 151 um, Sony mechanism. I don't know if you can see the, the sticker there. Um, it's all magnetic drive. It goes on those two magnetic rails. It, it floats actually, so there's no uh, warm drive as they do now and um, and vibration. Um, additionally, additionally. Um, the unit has a this anti-vibration VDRS system. I've removed it so you can actually see things, but uh, that normally goes in there. Um, this unit was faulty, had a faulty um, laser assembly, so this is a new laser assembly. It works now correctly. Um, you can see it in action as the disc goes up. The lens comes in, now it hunts for the CD three times, didn't find the CD, so it retracted and the turntable went down so you can uh, so you can now withdraw the tray. So uh, this shortly will be available for sale and uh, it plays CDRs, even 100 minute CDRs, it plays discs with uh, you know faults like 0.9 of a millimeter, I have this uh, um, I have this uh, Technics CD, test CD that uh, features all these um, gaps and, and, and faults on it, but uh, I can't play it now because I'll have to uh, put the screws back in onto the clamp, otherwise it would just go crazy with the vibration, but this is a disc I normally play and trust me, it does work very well. Well, that's all for now and um, till next time, thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye. Oh, I've just forgot another thing. This unit also has some aftermarket thing fitted to it. Which that there. That looks like it's some kind of a extra clock. And it has an input. It has an optical input from, I think, external, from DAC, I would think. I'll have to find out what exactly that is. It has some uh, date sticker on it and the uh, and it's signed by a gentleman called Tom, um, who obviously did this modification. Oh, if anybody knows what it is, uh, please let me know. <laughs> thank you very much and uh, thanks again for your time.